Hello, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium. Welcome in, my loves. This is a pillar of light channel. If you are new here, uh, welcome for the first time. You have obviously been divinely guided for a reason. So welcome in, and those of you guys returning once again, welcome back, my loves. All right, so for Virgo, what do we got for Virgo? This is current energy for the rest of June. 2023, but don't be fooled by the timing, right? This is something um, that is just an illusion as far as that stuff goes, right? So whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. And you know what's so funny too? Is some of the most profound messages that I've been receiving is older readings, like from other people on YouTube, um, but also from myself. And I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of subscribers and, 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 and whatnot commenting on videos of mine from, you know, a year ago or whatever, uh, six months ago, um, that are relevant to the timelines now happening. So pay close attention with that too, you guys. If you see messages, you know, readings and stuff, don't be discouraged by, by it if it's like, you know, two years old, you know what I mean? Because that's what I mean, time is the illusion. Okay, so... All right, for Virgo, for Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? Funny, I'm getting August 15th, okay? August 15th. Oh, that's not even Virgo season, right? That's still Leo season. Yeah, it's like right after Lionsgate and stuff. So, um, but you know, you could, you don't have, you could, you don't have to be a Virgo sun. You could be a Virgo moon, right? Or a Virgo north node, <laughs> you know? And you could be a Leo sun, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got around that date. So maybe that's a profound time for you or I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm hearing, um, we've only just begun. So there's something like that where you guys are, it doesn't matter your age or whatever, but there's this energy of you feel like you're just beginning in life. Like you feel like there's this new you, this new energy, this new, there's new possibilities. You're seeing things in a new light, a new way. It's just new. So, you know, it does, again, it doesn't matter your age. It, it has nothing to do with any of that. It's about what you are embodying and feeling and connecting to at this time. Okay. Um, so again, it's that, and then we've only just begun. So this could also be love, right? Where, um, you're just, you're, you're going to start beginning with someone and it's going to feel like you're just like on top of the world. Um, I'm getting an energy of like, you know, like we've known each other, old souls, old souls. It's like, we've known each other for, for so long. How do I know you? Like, how do I feel like I already know you? I just met you. How can I love a stranger? It's like that. All right. So for Virgo, what is the energy for Virgo at this time incoming? Let's get a couple more. There you are. Look at two cards flew out face down and then you fly out face up. And then there's Leo. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Leo energy with the sun. It's also divine masculine. And it's also like I just got done saying, it's the happiest time of your life, Virgo. There's things happening for you that and things coming in for you that light up your life. They light you up it's bliss, it's absolute joy and feeling content in your life. And, you know, it's solar plexus energy too. So it's very much about you guys feeling in your power once again, you know, after who, who knows how long of maybe you've been giving your power away or, you know, maybe you were with an, you know, a, a person who was very controlling and dimmed your power and took away your power and, you know, things of that nature. And that's what I'm getting. You guys have taken all that back and this is where you're at now. And because this is where you're at now, now you're receiving the sun. Okay. Healing. Three of swords, bottom of the deck. Okay. So this could also be, um, enlightenment. Maybe for some, you find something out about a third party devil yeah it, it, because this could also be you maybe you're the one leaving behind a situation or you i don't know maybe you're connected to someone who was in a third party but there's something here about finding something out about something there could also be someone maybe circling back from your past for some of you guys um and i have to be honest this does not feel like someone that you would want to entertain 
Um, this feels more like a karmic toxic person or a karmic ex or something um, <clears throat> where maybe they've gone through moments of enlightenment. I do feel that this person, whoever they are, and this is not going to be for everybody, obviously, right? But they want to come back around and they're hoping that maybe they get another chance with you, but I don't think they feel like you'll entertain it. But there's something here where they want to like get something off their chest or they want to apologize or make amends for the past, okay? Which, you know, we have Saturn in retrograde right now. It just went retrograde and that's kind of like, it, that's what it does. It's, it's like an energy here of like things circling back so you can finally heal the karma or, 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 or unfinished business and tie up loose ends, you know, universally speaking and, and karmically speaking. So I just feel that. So there could be people who circle back and they want to make amends with you. They just, they just, I'm so sorry, Virgo, for the way that I treated you. You never deserved that. I've changed a lot. You know, um, I just want to say that to you. You know, it's something like that. Okay. Um, so let's see what else. Oh my gosh. It's, you have a king and a queen. Look at that. Never mind the suits. It doesn't matter if it's air or swords or, you know, earth or pentacles. It's just about king and queen. This could be someone that was pretty cold and rigid and kind of like emotionless to you. They had a lot of walls up. Okay. That could be that too. Okay, if, if, if for some reason you guys are being very guarded, like there's the difference between having your walls up and like being guarded, you know, and then having boundaries and protecting yourself, you know, this right here for me feels like something that needs to be released. It, it feels like maybe like overly defensive. Like she looks very suspicious. Like, who are you? What do you want? What do you want with me? Are you going to hurt me? You know, so you keep yourself very guarded and blocked in that way. Um... So if that's the case for some of you guys, and it's it's time to release this and heal these parts, okay? Um, and that's common when you've been hurt a lot or when you've been disappointed a lot. You know, you just, you naturally have these guards that go up, right? But you guys, this is, it's something that needs to be healed and, and released is what I get. But it's, I'm not saying don't have boundaries with, with people and things like that. I'm saying don't be so guarded. Don't be so suspicious. And don't maybe overanalyze so much, okay? Um, but what I'm also getting here is that this is the end of, of the cycles here where you need to be guarded with people. It's like the energies that are coming towards you now are this blissful energy, okay? Now, I feel that this could be also someone who's gone through an awakening, okay? And maybe they were very guarded in the past, This, it feels like that, that, yeah, someone who they didn't trust themselves when it came to love, so they let it go. But I think, I think what this is for, for most of you guys, I think this is someone coming, circling back and you, you do kind of have walls up with this person because of how they acted in the past. Now, for some of you guys, it's a toxic person you want nothing to do with, right? For some of you guys, it's someone who you are open to hearing and hearing out, you know? Also, another message that I'm getting here is there's a frequency match here, okay? Like, maybe they're an air sign, you know, you're an earth sign. I don't know. It could be very simple, but what I'm getting is, like, they're stoic. This is someone who... They, they usually don't do the whole like lovey-dovey. They're kind of more of like a nomad. You know what I mean? Like they kind of lone wolf, nomad. They, they don't mind being by themselves. And, you know, they don't really do the whole love thing a whole lot, you know. But I think with you, Virgo, their walls come down. That's what this is. You meet someone or someone comes back in, enlightened, and their walls just come down. They've healed some kind of extreme trauma and pain within the, their heart. And they wanna to talk to you about it. They wanna open up or something. Or it's just someone new that you meet and, um, right? And they're just very open. Like there's something about you, your loving energy, 
your earthy, grounded, stable, compassionate, nurturing, you know, energy, it just breaks these walls right down. Like they don't, they can't even help it. You know what I mean? They just, they just feel like they can trust you. They, there's the inner knowing. For some of you guys, maybe this person was even in a third party with that three of swords. Maybe they've had an awakening and they're seeing now very clearly, you know, the strings that have been keeping them attached in painful ways or whatever. You know what I mean? All right. So let's clarify. Show me. Um, why do we have a sun card here for, for Virgo? Because let's do the major arcana first. Show me the sun for Virgo. I just feel like you guys are going to just be feeling very, like, I feel like you guys are already feeling happy. That's what I mean. Like earlier, like you, I feel like you guys are in this new space where you're just like, you feel this energy, you feel content, you feel accomplished, grounded, you feel good. And I think what's happening is you've attracted in someone who wants to feel good with you. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. The sun card for Virgo, five of swords, four of cups, bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah, this is definitely someone who's had some kind of awakening and they missed an opportunity with you. Or, you know, this could even be someone, right? That like has been like maybe watching you or sees you somehow, right? And maybe they've been wanting to take, shoot their shot and they haven't, okay? And maybe this is like them going like, what's wrong with me? Why do I keep doing this? Like, you know, just reach out, shoot your shot, take a chance, you know? But this is right here, a card of avoiding and rejection. So it, it does feel like that. Like there's someone avoiding a conversation with you or they've been avoiding a conversation with you. Yeah, I think someone had some shit they needed to work out. <laughs> I, I just, that's, you know, all of this energy, it's like, you know. I had things to work out. I know that I messed up. As I split the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, which is about good fortune, right? It's about alignment. It's about destiny. It's about, you know, forces of the universe and things of that nature. But it's also about karmic lessons being learned. Like someone is moving forward. They're moving on. Okay, the wheel is turning in a new direction. Okay, um, they're moving on from something. So again, maybe someone moved on from something, a third party, or you know, their their old ways of thinking, being I don't know. But with the sun and with the wheel of fortune, and then look at this as I split the deck. There goes the world card. You have the world card and the wheel of fortune. Massive levels of completion. Now, Virgo, this is also just in general for you guys. This is like you guys, like just totally like completing huge life cycles and karma and clearing stuff. And it's like the universe is coming into your reading and they're going, you did it. You did it, Virgo. Congratulations. So here, roll the dice. What do you want? Tell us what you want and it's coming to you. You know, it's like that. Someone could play like poker, like... It feels like, I don't know, someone could, it doesn't feel like a bad thing. It feels like someone plays poker. Like they just, you know, they like to like play cards and maybe go to the casino and, you know, but it doesn't feel like a, you know, like an addiction or a codependent thing or anything. I'm just getting that like someone, it's like almost like someone who like doesn't like they, they take risks in life on, you know, gambling or this or that or poker. Right. But then when it comes to like love and happiness and their heart, they weren't willing to take risks and chances. Now something is shifting, clearly. The wheel is turning. This could be even you, Virgo, right? Maybe you are the one, you know, who who is was afraid to take chances or, or try something new or move on from situations. And then once you did, everything started aligning for you. 
everything started shifting and changing, right? Two of Cups, there it is, love. And then the Fool. As I'm talking about taking risks and chances, the Fool comes out. <laughs> Eight of Cups, yeah. So this could be someone who walked away, all right? Or maybe you walked away from this person. All I can tell you is that there is a fresh start here. There is a soulmate energy and you, and, and it, it's someone who just, they take a leap of faith. There's no holding back. They're trusting in the unknown. They're not overthinking. They're not like making excuses. They're not self-sabotaging. They're not backpedaling, crawdadding. They're really here for it. They're here for you. This is a soulmate. Maybe you guys have been feeling a little out, you know, down in the dumps. Maybe you guys, you know, I feel for the most part, you guys have been good. But when it comes to like love, maybe you've been a little discouraged. Maybe you've kind of even been thinking like, you know, here and there, like, oh gosh, is it ever going to happen? I don't know. I just feel like everyone else is meeting people or, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting all that. And the universe is like, no, 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 no. Like it's just, it, it trust in our trust in divine timing. It has the energy has to be right. Like, you know, and that's what I'm getting now. It's like, the universe is not going to let you fall. Like you just have to put, you just have to work with co-create and trust. Let it go. Don't, don't put a bunch of swords in it, meaning thoughts and you know, all that. Okay. So you have a new start in love. There's a new beginning in love here. It's all in. I'm all in for this love. Okay. So someone who's all in for you, you feel all in for them. Of course, then again, remember I said too, for some of you guys, I'm, I'm also picking up on another energy of someone who, you know, walked away from you in the past coming back. Okay. They regret, look at this. See, I told you they regret releasing this, letting it go. Like, I don't know. And, but what I'm getting here is like there it's devil energy still, you know what I mean? It's, it's not, I think that's why you have your guards up with, with certain people. You know what I mean? So there's, for some of you guys, an energy circling back around and they want to maybe shoot their shot with you again and you're just like, no, okay? So little forewarning for some of you guys. I can share this with you guys because not that long ago, like a month ago or so, I had an ex from like a decade ago reach out to me randomly, but I could feel the energy was still here. You know what I mean? So I said, no, thank you, obviously, right? Like, I know my worth and my value. Same thing with you guys. So no biggie, I do feel that. But I also get that, like, someone has turned their back on their devilish ways, right? Like, maybe someone has left behind a karmic situation. You know, there could be a million different scenarios. But either way, there is a soulmate coming in where you guys are all in for each other. This person's all in for you. They're all about you. Your whole world is changing. Every It's like everything just starts lining up. You know, money starts flowing in. You know, opportunities come up. You meet new friends. You go places. You have fun. You you know, it's like everything. It's like, it's like what I'm, what the, 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 the metaphor and the analogy that I'm, that I'm being shown is you're driving through the city and you hit every green light. It's just green, 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 green. Even when you're driving up to a red light, before you get there, boom, it turns green. You never once have to hit your brakes. You just keep cruising through all the green lights. Well, that's the universe. That's the path you're on. That's the wheel of fortune right now for me is in life, my loves, you're hitting every green light. Mm -hmm. Green is go time, right? Okay. And even in this picture of you here, right? Queen of Pentacles, it's all green. Heart chakra, right? Okay. So there's something with that, right? But yeah, there's big, big love here. Big, big love here. Yeah, you're definitely, de oh my gosh, you have 10, 10, back to back, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. You're definitely, this is your happily ever after. This is it. This is the person you spend your life with. You build a life with this person. You guys, you, you guys build extreme wealth together. Um, you will not hurt for anything. You will not hurt or want for nothing is what I'm getting, okay? Um... And you're so deserving of it, Virgo. You're so deserving of it. But yeah, this is it. This is true love. This is a true love coming into your life. Okay? Now, in the beginning of the reading, I heard August 15th. So, 
you know, it could happen over the next couple of months, but I am honing in on the current energy. And for me, it feels, shoot, I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys meet this person over the next month or a few weeks or something. And then maybe just, again, it's an instant thing. It's an instant, how, how, how could I love a stranger, right? So maybe you guys just move quite quickly. It's just, you know, we just know. When you know, you know. It's like that. And you guys, it, there's something here, right? You've ascended enough. You, you're you aligned enough here to know the difference. And, and I think that's what this is. You meet someone, you guys meet each other, and you just fall head over heels in love. Um, even if this is someone from your past, Okay, not the karmic toxic one. <laughs> That's a different energy. But this could also be, again, someone circling back around um, that maybe does want to make amends with you. And it's someone that you would be open to hearing out, receiving, talking to. It could be a past life soulmate. It could be a twin flame for some of you guys, right? Um, and then there's also, of course, the possibility of new, just like a brand new person. So there's kind of a lot going on here, right? But the overall energy here, Virgo, is that you have... A very happy divine powerful soulmate love that just lights up your life and makes you feel like you're just on top of the world in so many ways and I'm telling you this person is all about you they don't I'm telling you 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 could walk into a room with you know I'm just seeing like you know like walking into a, a restaurant or a room or something where there's like a ton of people and maybe there's a bunch of good looking people. And I swear this person won't look at anyone. Like they don't, they don't have the wondering eye like that. You know what I mean? This is someone who they see you and only you Virgo. Okay. And I feel like that's very refreshing to you. Um, not because you're needy or codependent or insecure or jealous. It's because you've dealt with so many, you know, a-holes in the past. Like you've dealt with shady people who have cheated on you betrayed you you know they they really have and i just feel like you guys when you guys receive this love it just if you just it's just so it's like a dream come true this right here is a dream come true this literally is a happily ever after complete emotional fulfillment, contentment, love, soulmate energy. You guys could get married. Maybe you guys have some children. Um, maybe you guys blend your families together. I have no idea. I'm just channeling everything that comes through, right? So anyways, my loves, if this is your message, of course, claim the energy. Thank you so much for liking. Um, thank you for your comments. I love reading the comments. I love receiving, you know, how much it resonates or how it resonates or even if you just drop me a little heart emoji you know what i mean it shows me that you guys connect and, and i just thank you so much um and of course it affirms the message for yourself to the universe also right i claim this this is my timeline this is my message i affirm it now universe right um and of course if you want to book with me a general reading or a, a kashik past life reading um or anything else you can find all of the information down below for that my loves It's fresh pressed watermelon juice in case you're wondering, because as soon as I started taking another or a drink, I heard, I heard some of you guys asking, why is she drinking? I wonder what that is, you know? So anyways, it's, it's fresh pressed watermelon juice. Okay. Uh, Claire audience is one of my strongest psychic gifts. So I can hear thoughts, you know, very, very, very powerfully. So, all right, for, for Virgo, please, Spirit, show us the overall outcome here. It's the man holding the coin. He immediately popped out, and then appreciation on the bottom of the deck. Someone who loves you. They appreciate you. They show you how much they appreciate you and love you through their words, actions. Everything aligns. Everything aligns. This is like the King of Pentacles energy. Look at him. Right? No, what I mean is like, this is someone that has a big old offer for you. This is solid. Look, he's even like laying on the earth, right? So someone who's also very grounded, they maybe are very earthy. This would be King of Pentacles energy, right? Maybe they're 43 years old. Maybe you are. I have no idea. Does break down to a seven. So weird too. When I said seven, what I got was seven lifetimes. So for some of you guys, you've known or known this person through at least seven lifetimes. Okay. Maybe this is the lifetime where you guys have your destined do-over and, right, this is where you get it right. This is where you guys have done the work, you guys, right, and then you guys come together and, yep, mm-hmm, victory, yep, this is a victorious energy here, okay, a victorious energy. Now, 
Envy is showing up on the bottom of the deck. So this could be someone who maybe, if it is like a past person that, you know, maybe they're thinking of like, Vir what if Virgo meets someone, you know, and then they get envious or jealous. You know, it's not like crazy or toxic. It's more so like, I wish it was me. Wait, why can't it be me? I'm going to make it me. I'm going to be the one to go have a victory with Virgo. I'm going to take, I'm going to shoot my shot. You don't know if you, if you don't try, right? It's like that. Okay. There's like a saying you, you miss, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you never take or something like that. Or the shots you don't take. Um, envy and then carrying connections. Yeah. See, this is someone who, again, they, 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 they just, the thought of like losing you or, or you getting swooped up by someone else, it, it makes them a little crazy. Okay. We'll just say that. But this is a love energy that's coming towards you. Now, again, just what I'm getting here is there could be people around you that are jealous, envious of your success, of your connection to spirit, maybe of your ascension, of your ideas, your projects, your life. I don't know, but I am getting that, you know, it's someone who kind of watches you from the shadows and they're, they're envious. Okay. So just a FYI, you know, it's nothing like big, but whatever, you know, you probably know exactly who I'm talking about. That's what I'm getting is, you know, exactly who it is I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, so, so that's what I have for you, my beautiful loves. Um, let's go ahead and just get a message from the forest fairies. Okay. Um, I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope that, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited for you guys. You know, I, I know, you know, I've been on YouTube now for two years and since I've been on YouTube, I've seen the shifts of the collective energies and just what's been going on and what you guys have been going through as a collective or Libra has been going through as a collective or Leo, you know, um, <clears throat> and I do get that, that like, you know, I, or I do see that, that you guys you guys have evolved and come such a long way, especially over the last two years. Okay. Um, because I literally like just a couple weeks ago, had my two year anniversary here on YouTube. So I can speak from like a, you know, like, it's not like I just started my channel. I, I I've been seeing this. So my point is, is that I've seen where you guys have come from, where you've been, how your energies have shifted throughout, you know, the last couple years. And now you are in this place, my loves of receiving that blissful happy you know energy in your life okay so let's see what came out it is the green witch beautiful energy it's like so earthy too look at green okay the heart chakra but anyways she says connect to the spirits and energy of your local landscapes seek enchantment yeah so she's calling you to like she is right here you guys are earthy energy you guys need to sit in nature you guys need to connect for some reason, I'm seeing waterfalls, okay? So if you live somewhere where you can go visit a waterfall, even if it's a small one, just or by running water or some, somewhere where water falls or something about that, okay? Um, I'm also getting, you know, don't go chasing waterfalls, obviously. Um, but it's also, you know, waterfalls speak of abundance, overflowing, things flowing to you, emotions flowing, um, abundance flowing. It speaks of... Uh, an emotional release, you know, all that, right? So I'm just kind of getting all that, but yeah, you're definitely being called the little, the little green fairy, witch is saying, spend time outside, go sit on your lawn, you know, go connect to your, your flowers around, maybe plant some stuff in your garden, you know, whatever it is. Okay. But there's something about you guys connecting to the trees, to nature, to mother earth. Okay. So I send you guys so much love. I'm not extending this just because there was like several different things that were coming through so strongly. Um, so just take what is for you, you know, what fits for you. Um, but yeah, it, you know, if there was like one main storyline, you know, that came through very heavily, you know, then that'd be a little different, but I don't feel it. Let's get one more. The Northwood Fae. Take time for hibernation and healing. Yeah. I, I feel like that's what you guys have been doing, to be honest. And now I feel like you're, you're coming out in this beautiful energy here and it's like you know it's like yeah i've been in hibernation yeah i've been hiding you know but i've been healing myself i've been doing my my inner work and you know self-love and all the things and now i'm stepping out and i am ready i'm ready to shine i'm ready to receive you know i'm feeling new i'm feeling better i'm feeling happy i'm feeling whole i'm feeling good you know it's like that okay um and then you have the nomina 
seek inspiration in twilight wanderings. Okay, so again, you know, there's something about you guys connecting outside to the astrals, to the stars, going out at twilight, okay, and connecting. There's something there for you, my loves, okay? So that is what I have for you. Again, I send you guys so much love, so much light. Um, thank you for all of your love and support. Um, oh, one more thing down below. Um, I am offering, I opened them up the beginning of June after a little over a year is my private one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons. Okay, so if you're feeling called to work with someone, um, maybe like myself, right? Um, I don't just focus on like learning the meanings of the cards or reading the, you know, old spreads and this and that. I'm more focused on, we will do that, but I'm more focused on you guys connecting to your spiritual gifts, okay? Being able to channel, receive messages, you know, correlate everything, connect it all, confirm with cards, things like that, okay? So if that's something you feel called to, you can find everything down below. Um, and if you don't feel really called to like learn the tarot, but you wanna like mentor with me, like on a spiritual level, and we'll help open up gifts, we'll do different things, um, you know, manifestation stuff, affirmation stuff. We'll go over a lot. We, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's cool. All the stuff that I've been thinking and gathering for, for all of this, right? So again, all down below, it's going to be the same price as the tarot lessons, except it'll be spiritual mentoring instead of tarot lessons, right? So anyways, have a beautiful rest of your day, my loves. Namaste. Bye Virgo.